Okay, um, so this is take two of this video. I've tried making another video before this one, but it just failed epically. Um, and hopefully uh, I won't screw up this video either. I'm a bit brain dead at the moment, so I'm talking kind of slowly and hard, I find it hard to focus. But anyway, let's talk about Paranormal Activity 3. I uh, went to see that. I need to zoom out. I saw that um, tonight. I went to the premiere. I only found out about it like at 6 o'clock tonight, an hour before I saw it. Uh, I didn't even know it existed until then. But, um, and that was part of the reason why my expectations for it weren't really that great because I haven't been anticipating it. Um, and I think that paid off because I didn't get much in return like for my, I don't know, my money I guess that's all I really spent on it. Uh, I haven't been to the movies in ages. Um, well, not ages, I saw Harry Potter, the last Harry Potter movie at the cinemas, but uh, anyway. Um, that was the last movie I watched too, actually. I haven't watched a movie in a while, so it was a bit different watching a movie again. Um, the Paranormal Activity 3. It's a short movie, it only goes for 80 minutes, and in that 80 minutes, there's not a great deal that happens. Um, I would advise to anyone who hasn't already gone and spent their money at the cinemas to probably not go and see it at the cinemas, just torrent it and watch it. At home alone you'll probably enjoy it a lot more. Um, you won't have girls in, like behind you screaming and people talking and it'll make it scarier. Which is really what you want when you're watching a horror movie. Or maybe you don't. But most people seem to just watch it to get shits and giggles out of it. They're not really seriously watching it. Um, but I paid attention to it, and um, yeah, I'm real with the Paranormal Activity series. I really wish they would actually explain more of the point of why we're watching this. Like, not a great deal gets explained at least not in this movie. They explain a bit more in the first and second one. You actually sort of know a bit more about as what what is happening. In this third one, you kind of do get it, but like they don't explain enough in the end. Uh, I think there's still too many questions left unanswered at the end of it, and I was left unsatisfied at the end of the film. Um, but the action, the, most of the film actually did a good job of building a lot of suspense. Um, there's plenty of that. There's some good thrills in it. There's a lot of... Um, if you're easily startled, you'll have a great time with this movie. <laughs> um, you'll be jumping everywhere. Uh, it even made me jump one time in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> As most of you haven't seen this yet, for now I'm probably going to try and leave spoilers out of this movie. Movie? Review? Um, although, there's a couple of things that I actually want to mention will spoil it. Uh, such as the following. So, if you don't want it to be spoiled, piss off. At the end of the movie, there's basic there's all the you find out um, that a lot of what is going on is caused by witches basically or at least this is my interpretation of what happened <laughs> it's basically a witch's coven uh, is causing all the, the spirit Toby I guess to actually now that I think about it maybe Toby is I think they say in the, this could be wrong, 
but this is how I'm interpreting it right now. I'll probably check Wikipedia soon just to find out. But I think they refer to the ghost as Toby. And I think in the second film, or the first one, they talk about a mother or a woman in the family sacrificing their firstborn child. Uh, and I think that might have been Toby, now that I think about it. And that actually makes a lot more sense. Hmm. This actually makes things even better, if that's true. Um, but yeah, you find out at the end that, that their grandma, or the chick from the first two films, I think, uh, Christy, I don't know, I'll check their names. Katie and Christy. Um, they're kids in this film because it's from 1988. Or supposed to be. It's not um, recent like the other two films. Uh, and I think maybe it's their, uh, their grandmother's firstborn son that was the one that was killed. And uh, but I'm not sure about that. I'll have to have. I'll have to look that up. Um, but yeah, and there's pretty much uh, at the end. You see all these witches coming after Dennis, and the grandma kills Dennis at the end, or at least snaps him pretty good. He could have lived, but. Not many people can bend their backs that much. <laughs> um, yeah, there's also another good scene in the movie where uh, they do the Blood Mary thing. Um, and that creates a good scene. I thought that was pretty scary. But th another thing that I... This is probably going to be one of my last points too because there's not really that much to talk about about the movie, it's pretty bland. Um, with the Paranormal Activity series, I found that um, the first movie was very, very successful, as we're all aware, and they did it on a very low budget, so they made a lot of profit. And I'm I get the feeling that that's pretty much what they want to continue doing. I think they're only really making these videos for profit. They're not putting a lot of content in the films because I think they want to probably just make more. There will be a fourth one and they'll probably answer some of my questions in that. Uh, yeah, that, if you watch the end of the movie, there's going to have to be more Paranormal Activity movies. I just know it. and. Uh, I'm not going to go to the cinemas to see them. They're not going to get my money. Um, yeah. I feel like... Seriously, just don't even pay for it. It's not... I don't know. You can if you want. Whatever. Do what you want. But I feel like they're just making movies to make money. They're not really putting a lot of substance and uh, value into these movies. I kind of thought that this movie would uh, answer a lot of stuff, although it kind of does. It does answer stuff about like in the first and second movies, but it just leaves so much more open. Like I think that they could have made the video, the movie, longer. Uh, and put more in at the end. I thought it was cut very short. But, oh well, that's what you have to expect from a lot of big budget. Well, it's not even a big budget movie, but like, it's really not even a big budget movie, but like, movies like this, it's, oh wait, it is actually a big budget movie. Had a budget of five million dollars. <laughs> wow. 
they spent five million dollars on that movie. Anyway, they're gonna make more than that in return. They're still gonna make heaps of profit out of it. But it just doesn't like I don't see much point to the movies really unless they're gonna put more in than like I just felt gypped. It's one of those movies that just I don't know, I don't like I'm kind of repeating myself here, but yeah. Um, I might leave it at that. Overall, it's a good movie if you like. It's a good movie to get with together with your friends and sort of. If you want to have a bit of a laugh at a horror movie, you can probably do that. Although, I take things a bit more seriously than that. Uh, and I didn't really... It just didn't have much substance. But it did... It was a very tense, suspenseful movie. Uh, much more than the first and second, I thought. I thought they did a better job of creating that atmosphere and scaring me a little bit more. Or maybe that was just the mindset that I was in while I was watching it. Um, that probably had a lot to do with it as well. Um, I kind of wanted to be involved in the movie and I wanted it to scare me. I wanted it to show me what it had. And um, it achieved that. It actually startled me like once in the whole movie. Which is a pretty good effort. I don't normally get started at all. Um, and if you watch the movie, you might be able to figure out which part that is. But we'll see. There's lots of startling stuff in the movie. It's pretty much what they've... <laughs> That's pretty much the point of the whole movie. It's to start with. It's just lots of jumpy um, shit like that. Um, but yeah, I might have, I'll probably just leave this video at that, I think. I think I've pretty much talked about everything. Uh, at least this video is better than the last video I made. <laughs> this, and this one's still not even that great, really. I'm being a bit hard on myself, aren't I? This video is awesome. <laughs> Good on you, Michael. God, I'm a wanker. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, well, now I await the fourth one, and I don't expect to get a great deal out of that either, but if it doesn't answer my questions about this witches thing, I'll be very disappointed in this movie, and I'll be pretty much done with the series. It's a little... I don't know, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, I feel like I should give it a rating, although I'm not big on ratings anymore. I used to be. But, okay. The cinematography, like the filming of the movie was actually really good. Uh, I thought the special effects, like, were not, like, uh, they're simple, but they worked really well for what it, the movie is. Like, for example, the part where, if you watch the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about, where there's the um, this ghost who's in the, has a sheet over it, and the, um, this ghost is standing behind a babysitter who's watching the two kids upstairs, and... Um, when the babysitter turns around, the sheet just sort of drops to the ground. Like, that's one thing that stands out to me at the moment, but, uh, I don't know. Watching it at the cinema was actually pretty, um, cool just because of the bass. Uh, lots of really bassy, uh, parts in the movie. The cinemas always have good subwoofers, so I enjoyed, and if you know me, you will, if you actually know me, you will know that I like bass. Generally, I, that's why, uh, I don't know. 
most of you probably wouldn't know that. It's pretty random, but um, I do enjoy my bass, and this movie has some good deep sounds. That was some of my favorite parts of the movie. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty much telling. Like that's a pretty good idea of how crap this movie is. But it's not crap at the same time. Really hard to sort of say. Because I kind of like um, this movie for what it is. It just isn't much. But for not much, it's good. If that makes sense. You don't really get much in the way of story. But you probably shouldn't be getting a lot of story. They're sort of just homemade videos. If you think about what their objective of filming it is, like if you pretend that it's real and these people are just filming home videos, they don't really need to talk about a lot of stuff in the videos. Because I know they're also just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Like, it's supposed to leave a lot of questions unanswered. Um, that's kind of the whole thing with the movie, you don't really know what's going on, it's just a heap of paranormal activity. But yeah, I think in the later movies you'll probably find out more about what's going on. At least I hope. If they don't, I'll be, it'll pretty much be, I don't know. It's still so, it does a good job of what it does. Um, overall, no, I'm not even going to give this movie a rating. It's too hard because it, like, I didn't really enjoy it and I'm not going to watch it again. I would barely even re recommend it to anyone, but at the same time, it did what it wanted to achieve. And I implore them for that. Is that even a word? Implore? Implore? I don't know. If what they... I hope that they actually wanted to achieve what they made. I don't know. I'm going to end this video because now it's going way too long and it's turning out to be like the first video. Um, so yeah, those are some of my thoughts. <laughs>